Hello, I have decided to go ahead and record my painting, the subject for Saturday for my free paint, live painting on Facebook Live. So, you see me create, I just thought I recorded. So we're gonna start out, we got our supplies. We got paper plate or um, palette. The paint, I got a paint set. I don't know what colors I'm going to use yet. We're going to see what the Holy Spirit have. But we got gray, black, red, orange, purple, white, brown, a tan. We're going to use that for the sand. Green for the palm trees. Um, sky blue. And then a bright blue and a yellow. And we have a palette. A, a palette knife, a container for water, because you got to keep your brushes clean, um, paper towels, a sponge, either a sponge like this or just a little round hand sponge that you can squeeze. That's either one is fine. And and paint brushes. I just have various size brushes. But you need one with a a nice point line like this one, something like that. It's just some, um, just okay. So we're gonna make a mountain desert sea with with uh, what do you call it? Palm trees. All right. So let's do it. So we're gonna start off with white. I got about five paper plates. white and this tan next to each other white and tan and let's put well that's for now she's going to do um, for the white Let's just do the whole, give a nice base coat to the whole um, canvas. I remember when I was in, in college, in high school, when I took art class, I already always knew how to paint and draw, I always knew how to draw. But... I didn't think it was necessary to paint the white. I was like, it's white already. Why do I have to paint it? But it does look finished. It is a difference. It is a difference. Oh, and an easel. If you don't have an easel, you can just paint flat. That's fine. Need more white. This is a paint the whole, the whole. Let's take your time. And kind of look at it from the side to make sure you don't miss any spots. You gotta look at it at different angles. It should all look wet. It should be glistening. Okay, and while it's, it's still wet, while 
Let's take the edge, dip it in the beige. I guess we could have drawn a line first. Doesn't, we don't want to blend it all. Shouldn't look. Should look a little different. Different. Oh man, you can't even see that, can you? Um, let, me, let me turn the turn the camera around. Hmm. hmm. Let me see. Okay, now we need our water. Wash out the spine. Well, if you need water near a sink, you can also wash through the sink since I'm near a sink. I'd like to play Danny Go if you need it. Okay. All right, now let's do a nice, pretty sky. Let's put a little. for the sun. Alright, so we're going to use our bigger brush here. And we need some more white. Add a little 
white. in the middle. Alright, so let's do half of the brush, half of the brush in the red and the other half in the orange. Okay. Half in the red, half in the orange. The red down the bottom, the orange at the top. Okay, do it again. Keep it, keep dipping just the corner of the red and then the other corner in the orange. And start where you left off. Keep going all the way across like that. Red eyes. Okay. All right, now rinse out your brush, get some paper towel. Squeeze it in here, um, dry your brush off, and just use the orange now. Just use the orange. I thought I wasn't recording. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. All right. Let's do another little layer of, of um, orange. Remember, say you you want to use more red, that's fine. This is your creation. A little more orange. This is how my sky is looking. We can make the sky and this will be created by the creator to create. We can make it any color we want to. You want your sky blue? Make it blue. It's whatever you feel. There's no right or wrong way to do your painting because you're expressing yourself. Um, let me... Um, hmm, let's see, clean brush, and squeeze the excess water off, let's see how my dog is looking at me, 
Let me kind of make it blend with the orange a little bit. Let it blend. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. We're going to frame this so um, we don't have to paint. Now, if, you just, if you're going to hang this up like this, then you can paint your edges. Or you can paint them later. We can always go back and paint them later. Depending on how you're going to um, how you're going to um, hang your page. Are you going to frame it? Or are you going to just, if you, if you if you don't frame it, then you need to paint the sides, the same colors here. So we get some beige and paint this beige and all of that beige. Here you paint this little bit red, this orange, this yellow, yellow. Okay. Paint your board, your borders. Okay. <laughs> Triangle, we're going to make it a wiggly triangle. Right. Well, actually, let's outline that. Let's outline the trees, too. This, so, we can use the brown again. We'll do a couple palm trees. Mm -hmm. 
Same thing on the other side. I kind of got to slant it in just a little bit and I'll do just one thing. And of course, the sky. In your mercy, time. Just try. Okay, and I think the middle is dry now, so we can fill that in. We can use a bigger brush. Put this in the water and wash that off. Squeeze it. Let me get that big brush again. Like filling in the stain, like a color book, color inside your mouth. Just a little, not totally straight.
perfect because we're going to be adding some light to it. Make it look round and it's lumpy. Okay. Just let that dry. To save time, we're gonna start working on the on the leaves of the palm tree. Okay, get get another plate. I'm gonna put some. Actually, let's add. It's a little bit of brown left. I'm gonna add the green to that brown. Because this green is kind of bright. I want it to look more like a deeper color. So, mix that. Mix that. See how that looks. I want a bright green. Mix that up. Circles. There we go. Yeah. There we go. This is a this is more of a palm tree green. Okay. Thank you. Let's let's start making the the um palms, okay, since everything else is wet. You can make as many as you want. Okay, we're gonna go back and add thinner lines for the leaves. Okay, let's do the other side. Mm -hmm. All comes down to the God and the people. Okay, how y'all doing? I think I need some more down the bottom. Come on here. Yeah. There we go. Kind of look like spiders, don't it? <laughs> But it won't look like spiders in a minute. Let's rinse this brush out. Get out a really thin one. Rinse it out. Dry it off. With the, always take good care of your brushes. They last a long time. Brushes are, can be very expensive. 
So I need a really skinny one. Well, actually, no. Let's um, let's do. All right, since the, the, this is dry, let's get a little gray. Let me put a little stones, little gray. Put some gray in that light. Put some gray in that beige that we use. Add some gray to that. Okay. And then we'll mix that up with the tiniest brush that we have. We might have to rinse it out after because it gets caked up. gonna make some rocks okay so mix it up first should be broken the gray and the beige okay just need it darker and then rinse the kind of wipe the excess off kind of wipe wipe the excess off the brush okay and we're gonna do something called pointillism okay just gonna make little dots to represent just little, little dots. Little dots. Oh, you can't even see that. Can you see that? like that anyway. Alright, that gray. Let's just start. Let's see some. Make some. We need some more beige. Go over that because I made that too dark. Yeah, cover up them dark marks. I made it too dark. We just want it to look, I don't want it to look flat. I need to give it texture like dirt. So just.
Okay, it's looking better. Okay, so I'm going to leave any white, fill in the little spots, just, just paint, just relax, let your spirit lead you, we are created by the creator to create. And if you listen closely, he'll tell you how to do it. Make it pretty. Mm -hmm. It'll make you make you be satisfied with it. And that's all that matters is if you're satisfied with it. That's the thing about being creative. Whatever you create, it's good. Because it came from you. Yeah, this is looking good. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Mm-hmm. Make sure it looks a little balanced. Like you don't want to have two big areas of like white showing. You want to balance it. it should be balanced. Okay, so I'm gonna get that dry. Okay, let's rinse that brush out. Get another small brush. I'm gonna go back to some green. This has a nice tip. Like a nice sharp tip. I'm gonna go back to that green. And I'm just gonna add some more leaves to the palms. Okay, to fill them out. You see that? I'm just taking, taking using using a um. Um, very light stroke. You touch it and then pull it out. Pull it out. This brush is not. And so we're going on each side. Just touch the middle and bring it out. Touch the middle. Bring it out real light. And then go to the other side. Touch the middle and drag it out a little bit. Okay, touch the middle, drag it out, 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 drag it out. This isn't the best small brush but I'm liking it I'm liking it let's be a little full okay I'm 
I'm liking it. I'm liking it. On both sides, you do branch little palms on both sides of the branch. Go up and down. Okay, I like it. Remember that was brown, that we're working with the brown and the green. Let's do the other side. Oh, pressure. Okay, I'm going to use the other brush. This is other one. This is caked up on there. So start in the middle and pull it down real light. And top and the bottom of each leaf for each branch. one separate. Take your time. Okay, there. Okay, get some more paint. There's no pressure. This brush isn't the right one. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Rinse your brushes out. Yes, we need some more green. We need some more green. Let's do green. Green and let's do that green and beige again. Oh, I got some green. Yeah, add some green to that. Beige. Oh, 
I'll just I'm gonna mess me up. Add green fades together. A little green and beige. Just a little bit. Mix that up. Making some cactuses. I'll put one here. Let's just make one line. Like that. And then we'll make like a like a make it look like a pitchfork almost. How about that? Can you see that? like a pitchfork. Let's make several of them. We can make them, make the ones in the foreground bigger. Okay. Let's make them. And some can be, you can do one long one that goes all the way that touches the ground and have, there we go. Make little pitchforks, okay? <laughs> Let's make a little pitchforks. Trying to keep it simple for y'all. Okay, let's make a bigger one over here. Let's see. You can make the branches. You can mix them up. I kind of have a little time, hard time loosening up sometimes. I'm kind of. I don't know, but you can make them, you know, the branch, the, the, make them look different. You don't have to make them all look the same. Like, let's make this one a little taller. So they look too much the same. Make this branch, cactus branch, a little taller than the other. All right, let's put a big one over here. The way you wherever you want to put them. All right, so that first layer, they're all kind of the same size. Now let's make some smaller ones. You can use a smaller brush. Get your other brush. Make some smaller ones closer up to the mountain. That gives the impression of distance. Same thing. See how small I made that one? And the closer you get to the mountain, you make the cactuses smaller, okay? Mm-hmm. A little smaller. Yeah. Make it so it's make sure it's smaller. Make them 
Real small little green dots up there close to the mound. Just little green dots. You can't even tell that they're cactuses. Just little green dots. Little green blobs. You can't make them out because they're too far away. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's rinse our brushes. I'm trying to keep it simple, but still pretty. Let that dry a little bit. Just letting it dry. Okay, we need a skinny brush. Sometimes if you take the brush and squeeze it together with your fingers, to make it small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be right back.
liking it. I'm liking it. Thank you, Lord. I'm liking it. Um, okay, so what we're going to need now is some brown and black mixed together. I'm going to add some um, black. So add black. Actually, you can add, add just some black too. Um, yeah, black and, and the dark black and the dark brown a little bit just a little bit of black not that much black not a lot of black and dark brown about twice as much dark brown as black and then mix that up about twice as much because black goes a long way okay Mix it up real good. Okay, clean your brush, squeeze it out to make it pointy and dry. Pointy, the skinniest brush that you have. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're going to pretend that there's light sun over here. Or it's, it's, let's see. I'm going to add a little shadow. Okay. I want you to take your thin brush and outline the palm trees, okay? Outline and make it a broken line. Doesn't have to go all the way down, like a little bit. Um, and one on the inside. Okay. You can skip. Don't go all the way. Don't make it all the way down. You want to give it a little more personality. It'd be close, but not. Just outline. We're going to outline both sides of the tree. That'll make it look round. Both sides. Real light. Be real light handed. And if you're like painting with the paint, the, the picture on the table, that's fine. The job is easiest for you. Okay, and let's do the other side. I'm going to come back and do something else, right? Keep the brush kind of empty. Don't get too much caked up on it. It's harder to paint thinner lines. The more paint you have on a brush. hold my breath. Sometimes I hold my breath when I paint. <laughs> Trying to keep my hands steady. Yeah. Okay. Both sides. I think I just put my elbow in the paint. Okay. Now, now do like this and wipe the paint off of it. And then just come, touch the outer edge and, and just pull it in. Pull that paint. Oh, the paint dried already. Okay, you got to put a little more paint on there. And you're going to go kind of make little lines on each side like going in and in and in, in, in from the out 
from the outside, from the outside in. Don't bring it all the way across, just bring it. See that? From the outside in. See, bring it in, drag it in. We make the tree look a little rounder. Okay, look a little rounder than that one. See that? You see the difference? Okay, so let's do the same thing with the other one. Don't go all the way to the middle, just from the outer edge of the tree to in a little bit. I was looking at the camera, messed up. Looking at the computer. There we go. How's that, y'all? Take this same, I'll give you a few minutes to do that. I want you to go back and make a line um, on the horizon with that, that same color. I'm gonna make a, a line going all the way across under the mountain, okay? Okay, I'm going to put a little black in the, um, on, same, same way we did the, the trees, we're going to do the cactuses, um, but not the whole cactus, say for instance, okay, let's say, say we're going to do this one, we'll do a little bit. Here, a little bit, just, just a, just, uh, yeah, don't do it, um, the outline, the whole thing, just little areas, just little, just little areas, just to add a little bit. Okay, 
wherever the spirit leads you to pray the little outline not the whole thing though mm -hmm. well, you want to put a little bit just a little bit of shadow mm -hmm. inside Makes it not look so two dimensional. Makes it look more three D. Do that to all your characters. It's a little bit of, and very little, especially if they're small. You can use a teeny little dab of black, just a little dab, a little dab of do you. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. And actually, let's do just a little um, line underneath them. Like, like that. A little line underneath them. Y'all got it? Okay. Don't forget any of them. Don't forget any of your cactuses. Okay. Almost done. We need, okay, so, all right, now let's take that same black. And we want to add some grooves in the mountains. Add some grooves in the mountains, okay? Oh, wait a minute. Before we do that, let's, you know how the palm trees have that, that um, big part up here? Yeah, let's just make kind of like a half circle. Make a little half circle. Like that. Just make it look round up there. Okay. 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 All right. Now let's get to the the mountain. Now let's, I'm gonna see where it's kind of a groove right there. I'm gonna start on the edge and I'm gonna bring it inside like that. I'm gonna make a little Kind of outline it, but then bring outline it, but bring little brush strokes in to make it look lumpy. Outline it, bring it in. Outline and outline it. Bring it in. Okay. Mm 
Okay. Now, let's go inside and, and make some, just some Look like rocks. Okay. Just let the spirit lead you the way to make some make some shadows. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotta trust God. That's what I'm doing. Trusting God to leave me. Come alive a little bit. Just add some shadows. What you think? Mm -hmm. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Mm -hmm. And just look at it, and it does look good. You need some more shadows somewhere, just keep adding. I've never painted a mountain before. It's my first time too, y'all. But you can tell it's a mountain, you know. Okay, now only thing. Let me see. We need some more. We need some black up, we need something in the trees, the branches. Let's just make some lines for the branches in the um, palm trees. Go right in the middle, real light, little black in the middle of the branches. Just, just, just a little bit, just a little, a little bit, a little bit of more color. And branches. Uh -oh. oh, that was messed up. Okay. A little black. Little, just a little. Just a little. Not a lot, just a little. I'm going to show you. I know. Let me show you. What? See? Okay. Okay. I think we need... I think we need some gray rocks. Let's rinse our brush off. Get a little gray. We're going to be using gray next to that black and brown. Okay. Brush, brush. Let's use this brush. Let's use the brush with the... Where is it? Oh, I got it wrong. Where the flat head. Mm 
I'm gonna put some rocks. And since, so remember how we did the um the half of the brush in the orange and half of it in the red. Now we'll do half in the gray and half in the black. And up front, Let's make some rocks. Let's make some rocks. Remember, the ones up front are bigger. We can put some next to the next to the the cactuses, or in the middle somewhere. Just move the brush around a little bit, make it mix it up a little bit. Just make it some rocks. And like like we did make a fuge in the foreground. I mean the background, they're smaller. You make them smaller as you get back here. Just add a couple little ones. Mm -hmm. You could just just tap the tap the brush on it. But when you get far in the back, just tap the brush. Just tap it. Just give it a little color. Make it just tap it. Mm-hmm. Make it look like rocks, little rocks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, why well, was in my way? I just been finding myself doing that lately. Okay, so it doesn't look so. There we go. Look a little. I got a little personality going on there. Well, okay. I like it. I like it. All right, so now let's see this. All right, so let's just sign our names now. I think it's done. What color we're gonna sign? Oh man, you always gotta um, sign your work. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna make mine. My I'm gonna make mine. My initials A J H. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Usually, artists sign their work in the bottom right hand corner of a work of art. Let's so make it A J That's my signature. And I'll put the date on the back. What's the day? The 20. There's no room in front. Not, so it's the 22nd, right? The 7, 22nd. Always put your date on your work. 20, 21. And I like it. I like it. I hope y'all like it. <laughs> Thanks for painting with Al. <laughs> touch not a touch screen house no. um so I go ahead I'm plug my book while I'm here <laughs> painting is very relaxing it's very relaxing and um it's being creative keeping your mind busy that's how you combat the devil that's how you fight the devil keep your mind occupied doing something productive doing something that you could be proud of god keeps me busy all day i wrote a book called cracks in a potter's clay how i overcame bipolar one with faith and i'm medication free took medicine for 20 years 
now I don't take any medicine. It's been since May 28th of 2019. I haven't taken any medicine and I couldn't be happier. You draw near to God and he will draw near to you. You can reach me on at my website, https colon forward slash forward slash www.allison dot, I mean, J-O-A-N dot com, allisonjohn dot com. And you can get signed copies of my book for $10 and on my website and also daily motivation. I do a daily prayer run and a daily devotion every day to inspire and lift people up. And that's pretty miraculous for somebody who's classic bipolar one. God has taught me how to live this life, walk in a victory, walk in, in a spirit of gratitude all the time, finding something to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. So that do. And my book is also in Spanish. It's Grietas en la Arcilla del Alfarero, Como Superé Bipolar Uno Con Fe. And I did an audio too in Spanish and English. And the audio is free right now on um, Amazon Audible. And um, so if you like it, you get and you like it, don't forget to leave me a review, okay? And I hope you enjoy my painting with Allison. Have a beautiful God-bless evening. Bye. God bless you.